what's up YouTube YouTube a in the early 2000s a man went with his friends to an 18th century haunted house although when they got there the things that would happen to them would traumatize all of them and the things that they captured on camera would instantly make world news and go down as some of the best paranormal evidence ever captured this is the story of Guy Winters Guy's in his mid-40s, he's chilling at home one day, and he gets a call on his phone. So he picks it up, and it's his good friend Terry. Super excited to talk with him. And Terry says, Guy, we just found this terrifying house last night. You have to come check it out with us. We were there, and a figure came out of the wall and charged at us. And when Guy heard this, he instantly had a flashback to a time when he was just six years old. He was sitting on the couch, watching TV, when suddenly, out the corner of his eye, he sees something move. So he turns to look, and there is this woman standing there, and she starts floating across the room in front of him, and then she dissipates. So when Guy heard this from Terry, he was like, oh my god, we have to do this. I want to come check this out with y'all. And Guy and Terry have a ton of cameras and equipment because they love investigating the paranormal. So Guy hangs up, grabs his stuff, hops in his car and drives to Terry's house. When he gets there, they hop in the same car and they drive all the way to the haunted house. So keep in mind, they are in a place called Greencastle, Indiana. It's got a population of under 10,000. So the drive to this house is just all these back roads. It's in the middle of nowhere. You just gotta make this long drive surrounded by trees and grass for as far as the eye can see. And by the time they finally pulled up to this place, it was completely dark outside. So they pull up, they both look out their windows and they're staring at this huge two-story 18th century house. It's got barely any windows, it's got these super thick brick walls, and it looks like it has a ton of history. It's never had electricity, it's never had plumbing, and already it feels like someone is watching you from the windows. And Guy would say the thing that creeped him out the most was the hedges around the house. Something about those bushes gave him the creeps. We don't know what it was, we don't know why, but for some reason, the bushes gave them the creeps. So they step out of the car, and every step closer they take to this place, they just feel this presence grow stronger and stronger. This house has an extremely powerful presence to it. Like, it is filled with people, and they know that no one is in there, but your instincts are telling you, no, there is something in it. So as they're getting closer, their hearts are starting to beat faster. They're shining their flashlight through the windows, just making sure. And now it is starting to thunder. This extreme torrential thunder, back to back to back, like there is a welder in the sky and sparks are just flying everywhere. And they make it all the way to the front door, take a big breath in, and they both walk inside. We have video evidence of this whole thing. So Guy steps in, he's got a flashlight in one hand, camera in the other, and he's looking around, and you can see that every wall in this place is blank. There's nothing on any of the walls. So Guy decides to split off from Terry. They're both in the front entrance, and there is a room right next to this entrance. So he goes into the next room, and as soon as he steps in, he gets startled by this bird is just flapping, hitting the walls, trying to get out of the house. So that panicked him a little bit, but it's just a bird. So he looks around, he's exploring this room. There's not really much to look at, but he can still feel this presence and it's really giving him the chills right now. So he's like, you know what? I'm gonna go back to the front entrance and find Terry. Steps back into the room he just came from and Terry isn't there. And then he notices that every single wall is covered in this writing. And this writing was not there before. You can see on the camera footage that the walls were blank, but now in the short span of time that Guy went into this room, there is now writing over every single wall. And when he sees this, he gets covered with chills. But this is just the beginning because now he can feel this presence growing stronger and stronger. It's so powerful that he feels completely frozen. He is just standing in place, just waiting for something to happen and it gets closer 
and closer until he can feel it encompassing his entire body. It started as electricity on his skin, and then he felt the cold rush hit him, but it wouldn't just hit his skin, he felt the cold go inside of him. His lungs became cold, his intestines were cold, everything inside and out was now freezing. And then he starts to hear a thumping sound, and he thinks maybe that's my heartbeat, so he feels, checks his heartbeat, and his heart rate is off rhythm with whatever thumping that he is hearing. This thumping is getting louder and louder and louder until it feels like it is just shaking his entire body. He can feel it in his head and it just feels like the whole house is shaking. And he can feel that this presence is some sort of female. In Guy's exact words, he said, it feels like a big female, some female presence. And at this point, he is so absolutely petrified that he is completely frozen. It's the same feeling when you're in a dream and you just can't move at all. You want to run, but no matter how hard you try, you can't. And he would say, now I know what being possessed feels like. Eventually, Guy's fight or flight would just snap into place and he takes off running. So he's running through these dark rooms, he's tripping over things, he's trying to find the exit, and he finally finds the exit and he sprints out and Terry is standing out in the front yard. And the first thing Terry says to Guy is, Guy, why is your head glowing? And what Terry could see is that Guy had this pink hue around his entire head. So immediately when Terry saw that, he starts freaking out, and Guy has no idea what he's talking about, but he's trying to explain what just happened to him. And they're both freaking out, it's thundering like crazy above them, they're absolutely panicked, and they just come to the conclusion, we need to leave right now. But Terry says, wait, before we leave, let me take a couple more pictures. So he pulls out his camera, and he snaps one, two, and three. Now, they wouldn't know this yet, but this is some of the most profound paranormal footage, and it matches perfectly with what had happened to them. And also, Terry took some videos too. And in these videos, you can see these mists that are floating behind Guy that are kind of in the shape of people. And you can see that when it passes by, Guy turns around because he can sense that something is behind him. And there's definitely multiple figures or ghosts that float behind him. It's very common with ghosts that you see misty apparitions. They can appear in many different ways, but very common is a mist, which will appear in pictures when there's no smoke, no fog, and Guy would say there was no smoke, no fog, it wasn't raining, it was just a clear night. They didn't know they had these pictures at the time because they of course can't see it live. This is a while ago, so you know they just had uh, like a digital camera without a screen to preview. So they just peel out of the house. They're like, nope, we are done. They felt like we are actually gonna die here. Our life is in danger right now. So they get in the car and they just peel out of there. It wasn't until later that night when Guy got home that he loaded those pictures and saw what they had captured. And when he saw these apparitions, it chilled him to the core. This was a traumatizing experience and how those apparitions appeared, the gold hues, the pink hues, such clear faces and bodies. I mean, he was absolutely in awe. The guy wakes up early the next morning and he's like, I need to share these with the world. So he goes to a local news station and he's like, guys, look at what I captured. And when the news crew saw this, they were like, holy shit, we need to make a story on this right now. So they do, they make a huge story and it instantly blows up. Everyone's talking about it. And they ask in the story, if anyone knows anything about this house, can you please come forward? Because we want to know more history on the house. At this point, they didn't know the history at all. And someone did come forward. It was an older lady and she said, that's my parents' house. They built it in the 1830s. And in those pictures, that's my mom. That's my mom's bedroom. That's my sister. That's my mom staring at you out the window. And she pulls out this box and it has all of her family photos. And Guy's there and they're comparing the apparition 
to the family photos back and forth. And they notice that the faces are very similar. This lady claims for certain that that was definitely her parents. Unfortunately though, because the story got so huge, people started coming to visit the house. So many people, because they wanted to experience it for themselves. And eventually they just decided, let's just tear the house down because they didn't want that many people exploring it, visiting it. It's just stressing them out. So they're like, we're gonna tear it down. This place is done. And Guy would say that this made him feel really guilty because he's the reason that this place got so huge. He took those pictures, he brought it to the news to try to make it a story. And now that it was a story, literally everyone is freaking out and visiting this place. And now it's torn down. And he would say that he feels bad for the spirits that are there because that was their home. He goes back to visit the rubble of the house and he'll sit on the rubble taking pictures. And even in the pictures, as he goes back, there are still apparitions in the photos. This place is just the ultimate hotspot. Kitty! I got a baby cat down here right now. <laughs> Guy left this on a pretty positive note. Although the experience was just completely terrifying, he would say, I'm excited to be a ghost. If I'm energy and I get to float around, that's going to be awesome. And um, it doesn't seem like this really had any lasting impact on him. He was definitely freaked out for a bit. The main thing is he's just sad that the house got torn down. 